Okay, guys, this is the video you've been waiting for. All glory to God. I give all the glory to God. Um, you know what? Let me go fix that sign behind me real quick. Okay, there we go. Uh, you're going to see that sign that's behind me again later in this video. Um, I'm telling you this is not just um, a video. This is the unveiling of the Antichrist. Okay, so you're going to see his identity now. There will be no doubt about it. Okay, y'all ready? Let's do this. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a video that I put together with. It took so many. It, it was unbelievable what it took to get this video out. There were so many technical issues, issues and so many problems. It was absolutely staggering how many weird things happened. Not just my health, I'm talking gremlins and computers, uh, problems sending stuff over the internet. I'm talking weird. So pray, I pray to God that this gets up right now, that there's no other issues. So during this little video that I'm going to play for you, I'm going to stop it at certain points. And I'm going to interject stuff as I screencast the video. Okay, y'all ready? The night I got saved, I walked out of a, a door in the back of the St. Anthony Hotel. I came down a set of stairs. I prayed with Michael, the angel. He prayed, said, pray with me, my brother. I prayed to the sky with Michael. Our Father, water and light came down on me. I was filled with the Holy Spirit, and I was told that I, I'd been called to service from the, for the Lord God. The Lord God. So anyway, when I walked out of that alley, I walked into... And a wall when I when I exited the alley I walked into a giant stained glass window and I'm gonna show that to you real quick I'm I walked into a stained glass window that had Jesus ascending into heaven right here it had an image of Christ ascending into heaven and it had Adam below him in the Garden of Eden. So let me just enlarge this for you so you can see it. There you go, I'll stretch it. So right there, the night I got saved, when I exited the alley, I, I looked up and saw this image of Christ. He's not crucified. He's ascending into heaven. There's his feet, his arms are out. He's ascending into heaven, and below him is Adam in the Garden of Eden. Now, right below Right below this image right here of Adam in the Garden of Eden. Don't forget, this is all about the Garden of Eden. Right below Adam in the Garden of Eden, there was a carving on the wall, and it said, Whatsoever man soweth, that must he also reap. And when I saw that, I knew in my heart, just because of the spirit that was in me, that I would be reaping a lot of stuff that I had sown that, was going to be very difficult and that's that's been the fire of you know fire of affliction that i've been in for 15 years whatsoever man soweth that must shall he also reap that was right here you know what let me enlarge that if you see it right there you can see right there is where it is and this is that same stained glass window but during the day okay now let's go ahead and get started with the disclosure and let me show you this let me show you the serpent from the garden of eden that spirit barack hussein obama all glory to god here we go okay, johnny, i'm gonna pause it there i the reason i said okay johnny this one's for you I have a friend of mine that needed some prayer the other day, and he called me up, and I said, let me encourage you. We're done. The end has come. I'm The Lord is having me reveal the serpent from the garden, Barack Hussein Obama, the beast that was and is not and sh is yet to come, shall arise out of the bottomless pit and shall go into perdition. You're looking at the son of perdition. I'm just going to zero in real close. There's one eye right there. I, there's a circle there. I just put the rhinestone on it to make it pop. There's the other eye right there. And now I'll, I'll come out, come out, 
And there's the serpent from the garden. See the difference in color? I've colored the serpent a little bit different colored green, staring you straight in the face. Eyes, dun, 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 busted. Okay, so it's time to document. There it is, and you can see I've drawn in, just I've gone over the leaves, even the changes of shadow on the leaves. I put the eye right there under the yellow leaf and the eye right there under the purple leaf. I will back off and you'll see the serpent quite obviously. Now I'll go over here where I have shown you where I put the eye. There's the eye right there, obviously right there the circle and then over here there's the other eye right there and then as I back out you'll see the serpent without all the coloring very obvious very obvious Ooh, now it's been clearly 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 identified and then we'll just go back over here now and I'll just added the color and I simply put the rhinestone where the eye goes and where the eye goes and there's a serpent. And so Barack Obama is the same spirit of Elohim. Um, many in one. He is the spirit of Lucifer, the angel of the bottomless pit. The same spirit in the garden that was in the Nakash that got Eve to fall. And I'm going to come at that large sperm one more time. See it very obviously. I barely. blocked in the changes of shadow you can see how it takes up the whole corner of his head right there and you can follow the tail down there it goes there's the other sperm on the side of his head right there so he's got two sperm a very large sperm and a smaller sperm representing the two different seeds <coughs> which form the heteropaternal <coughs> super fecundation twins Cain and Abel say it together cannibal cannibalistic system i'm gonna pause it right there for just a second hopefully i i didn't mess up on uh earlier and forget to un unmute it i was showing you all that this this thing right here uh this sperm right here chris hansen noticed that it makes the fang of the serpent you just let the fang end right there that's why he had the tail bend right there. That's why the artist Kahina Wiley, he had the tail of the sperm bend right here, right there. You can see it because this makes a fang. Like if you look at one of your teeth is like the head of a sperm and then you're to make a tail on it, it would make a fang. There is the fang of the serpent. And then if I use this as the open mouth and draw this line in right here, that becomes the open mouth of the serpent. And this is the fang of the serpent right there. And uh, so the bite of the serpent, the fang of the serpent is a sperm. Just think about that for just a minute. The fang of the serpent is the sperm. Of the serpent. It's what I've been telling y'all all along since this beginning of this ministry. Here we go. Okay. It's okay. Uh, I'm. I need. I need to stop for just a minute. Again, <clears throat> what you're seeing right now, the Lord told me go down to the alley and drive through it so people can see where you got saved. That when you exited the alley, you walked right into Adam in the Garden of Eden 
because the Lord had chosen me to back engineer death, where death came from and where the human race came from. And we're all angels and we're all trapped in human host bodies, which are our chains of darkness. And he told me, go down to the alley, drive through so people can see where you got saved and what was on that wall. So I'm going to show you that right now. March 2nd, I'm coming down to the alley where I got saved. The Lord told me to come down here and, you know, just do a quick drive by and let everybody know. This is where I got saved. And this is the alley where I was born again. And this, those steps right there, those are counterweighted steps. Right there, there's a counterweight on them. And they're horizontal to the ground. And I started walking on those. I came out a door up there. Okay, I'm going to turn the volume down for this. Anyway, those are the steps I came down when the night I got saved. I came from up there through an emergency exit door. I walked down that little step, and then I started going on these. And then these came down and sat down right here. And then Michael was standing right here. And he walked right up to me and said, pray with me, my brother. And we turned and we prayed, our father up to the sky and water and light came down on me right here. And this is where I prayed to get saved. And that's why I came down the steps. Um, so then after I got saved, after I prayed and I received Christ right here, I'm going to pause it right there because um, the, there's a huge AC unit going on in the background. I'll go ahead and play it. And then I exited the alley. So after I got saved, I exited the alley. And you can see that's what I walked into. There's Adam in the Garden of Eden. And there's an image of Christ ascending into heaven. And this is all going to become very, very, very significant. I went this way. Again, I'm going to pause and I'm going to knock out the volume. Just so you guys can see, that is exactly what I walked into. And I will go ahead and show you that in a still photo here. Just one moment. Okay, let me show you from my personal testimony folder. Uh, this is very important that y'all understand that. There it is. There is, there is Christ ascending. There is Adam in the Garden of Eden. I was inside the hotel and our lives were in danger. I was with that girl right there. Her name's Eleuthera, Eleutheria. And <clears throat> I'm going to show you one of the most amazing things in the world in this video. So that's who was with me telling me not to open the door. She was saying, don't open the door. You know, we'll, we'll end up getting killed. And I said, you know what? The Lord's telling me to open the door, and so I open the door. In the I open the door. I came out of fire emergency exit, and then I walked on these stairs that were horizontal, and they turned to a 45 degree angle. They hit the ground. Michael stepped up to me and said, "Pray with me, my brother." I was filled with the Holy Spirit. And then I was given my marching orders, so to speak. And as I exited the alley, when I exited the alley, I walked into Adam in the garden and Jesus ascending into heaven right there. This is very important that you understand the night I got saved, the Garden of Eden was involved in it. Here's the Garden of Eden. Now I'm showing you Barack Obama, the serpent from the Garden of Eden. The girl that I was with, her name is Eleuthera, and Eleuthera, that name is actually in the Bible. I'm going to show it to you. It's uh, not what y'all think.
but I'm going to show you where Eleuthera is in the Bible. And I'm taking this clear plastic layover of the serpent, and I'm putting it right on top of Obama to show you there is the serpent from the Garden of Eden right there. There it is. Just, again. Now, there. I told you there's a type of alcohol called Serpent's Bite, and it has, like, snake skin on it. And on that logo of the Serpent's Bite alcohol, it shows a sperm going for an apple, and it also looks like a snake. So if you take... I'm going to take my cursor. I'm sorry. I hate that full-size image. There we go. Okay, so if you, I take my cursor and I just outline this part right here. This is the head of the sperm. There's the tail going back. If you come down and you let that be an eye and that be an eye, this turns into a beak of an owl, like, you know, Molech, they, the owl that it sees in the dark. And then if you let that be the eye and that be the eye, and then these be the fangs instead of an owl, it turns into a serpent going for the apple, and the serpent bite is a sperm. This is a sperm right here. And the serpent bite exactly from the Garden of Eden was the sperm. That's why Barack Obama has a two sperm on his on his forehead. One represents um, the, the serpent. One represents the serpent uh, seed, and the other is the seed of Adam. And I will show you very quickly the two different sperm on his forehead. That's why there was Cain and Abel, and Cain murdered Abel because the system is cannibalistic. Let's see. Well, I'll have to grab my other image. You guys can see the sperm right there. There's another one right here. I'll have to find my high-resolution image. Okay, let's go back to the video now. There's just proof that that's what I walked into. And now we're going to go back into the video of Chris and I. Okay, there we go. So the Garden of Eden was definitely part of what happened the night I got saved. And it's Adam in the Garden of Eden. So there's Adam in the Garden of Eden, and there's Christ ascending into heaven. And then on the wall underneath, Okay, so... so we're going to start this video with just Sorry about the choppiness guys. I'm having a little bit of a problem with the mic Again, right here, it said, what's over man sow it, that must he also reap. Because whatever we sow into this world, we reap it. And unless you get converted by Christ, you are going to reap an eternity of horror. Because uh, God's judgment is coming. So here we go. Okay, so we're going to start this video with just... <laughs> Guys, this is the biggest thing on the planet right now. This is this is the greatest news. Uh, Satan's kingdom is about to be completely destroyed with what the Lord's revealed here. This is what y'all have been waiting for. And I got Chris to come over and help me do this today. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you guys the immediate revelation of Obama, the serpent in the garden and then what I'll do is I'll deliver this video, and then what I'll do is I'll follow it up with how it's tied to the ministry. Unbelievable. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna use that one and that one. You guys, the way this gift works, it was done for y'all before in the, in the Kingdom Divided series where I drew in the hieroglyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti, 
and Chris is going to come up here and I'm just going to show you very simply what's done. Uh, I just boxed in the leaves and I'm just going to box in a few so you guys can see nothing changes. I'm just going over the changes of shadows with the leaves themselves. And so that's the way the imagery is revealed. And so all I'm doing is going around the shapes of those leaves and boxing them in for your eyes. And that'll give everything, it'll bring everything that needs to be in the foreground out to the foreground and everything that needs to, you know, go back, back. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw in a couple lines. I wanna show y'all something very important. These are the most important right here. This is the eye of the serpent. And when you look at this on your own, you'll see that this circle is identical over here to this circle and that the artist himself, he copied some leaves. I wanna show you all this leaf right here. I'm gonna go around this leaf right here and I want you to look at the edge of this leaf. Okay, take a good look. And he picked it up and he moved that same leaf right to here. You see it, there's the same exact leaf. Okay, so he real literally copied this and then set it over here to create the whole head of the serpent. Okay, so now that I've identified the eyes for you, I'm gonna show you the way the artist, he used the negative space and we're just going in between the leaves right here and I'm just following this pattern and I'm just going in between the changes of shadow right here. As you can see, I'm not doing anything that's not there. And so this outlines the top of the head of the serpent. So here the eyes are. These flowers are over the eyebrows and he did what's called like bilateral symmetry. He took this half and he picked it up and he set it right here. And this makes a cumulative sum of the head of the serpent and Obama's face is the middle of the head of the serpent. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. This is from the Garden of Eden. So here's the serpent in the Garden of Eden. Let me show you something. Right here on Obama's head is this giant big sperm right here. And here's the blocked in shadow of the sperm right there. And the head. I'm going to pause it right there so you understand. If I was to take a pin and I was to draw right here on Obama's hairline right here and follow this down right here, you can see that there is, that this is the fang, that this is a fang in the mouth. There's the, like, going up into the, gum of the serpent and then here is a sharp piercing point of the fang and that's why he had it come to right here and then the tail of the sperm goes this way all you have to do is follow the changes in shadow the bible says every good and perfect gift comes from above from the creator of heavenly lights not like them that cast shifting shadows okay so here we go. By the way, that sign that's behind me that says V for Vengeance, it is over a piece of artwork that I did that's been there for years. That's me and Eleuthera in the Garden of Eden with the serpent wrapped around a piece of artwork. I did that before I got saved. Head of the sperm goes up into the corner of Obama's head. And then there's a shadow right there. And then the, begins the tail of the sperm going down his face. And there's another sperm right here. And I, I'll show this one to you on another image. We'll plug it in. I don't want to have to rest my hand on top of it because it'll smudge. I'm so going to I'm going to pause it right there. And I'm going to go grab the Apollyon video very quickly and... I'm gonna go grab the Apollyon video very quickly and show you guys the two sperm because that's what's most important. There were two sperm involved. There was a seed of the serpent and then there was Adam's seed. So you had the seed of the serpent, seed of the woman, and you had two, uh, two different sets, uh, two, di two different children that were twins, Cain and Abel, heteropaternal superfecundation twins. That's why Kahine Wiley comes from a tribe in Africa that has the highest rate in the world of dizygotic twins. Dizygotic means 
Uh, di means two, zyga, zygotic means zygote, two zygotes, two separate eggs that are fertilized by different sperm. And in the tribe that he's from, uh, they said like the, the, the percentage of families that have uh, those kind of twins is just astronomically high. And Kahinde Wiley was chosen by Barack Obama to do this photo, to do this portrait, okay? So let me go grab that real quick so you can see it. Here we go. I'm going to grab that real quick. Let me see if I can exit this. There we go. Okay, so here is an image from the other uh, video I did with a much cleaner image. Um, uh, and you can see that there's two sperms. There's one going up. Uh, there's the big sperm that's going up, and there's the other sperm that's going down. I highly suggest everybody watch this video as well. I am going to combine this video, Obama, two sperm on his head in the garden. You got it. I'm going to combine this video with this video that I'm doing right now uh, that I did with Chris. I'm going to combine the two. But right now, I'm just laying it all out for you guys, okay? So now we'll go back to here, and let's finish laying this out. Sperm, and there's another sperm. So you have the two different sperm, Cain and Abel, and the serpent in the garden. Okay, so here's the thing. I did a video called a polyon, you know, uh, with, you know, this particular poster when it came out. Um, what Chris and I are going to do right now is I'm just going to build this puzzle for you. I've already drawn this in probably at four times. It is 100% conclusive. The Lord God revealed this to me. This is my spiritual gifting. This is what I've been doing since the beginning, even since I turned the first image of the Virgin upside down. Very, really, very quickly, Chris noticed uh, today that 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 sperm also is the fang of the serpent if you let that be the top of the tooth and then the bottom right there you can see that that is absolutely a fang of the serpent so we're going to build this for you right now so here's what chris and i are going to do right now i'm going to show you and prove to you how the lord used me to draw in all the changes of shadow on these separate images that we we've lined these up down here on the table and we're going to use these and i'm going to go through those and the next little yeah that's getting a big light wash on it um we're going to use those to show you guys how this was every single line was drawn in here and this is actually a clear plastic layover and this clear layover if i take it right here and I put it right on there. You can see that I drew in every single line on this thing. There it goes. There it is lined up. I'll line it up and we'll photograph it. So we're going to start here and I'm going to show you there's the eye and there's the eye. And you can see that I have drawn over every one of these leaves. I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to slide this right on top. And you can see it's a perfect fit. So there is no doubt about it. There is absolutely no question. And then we're going to go over to this next image right here. And you can see that th this actually has a clear plastic layover on it. There's my chopstick under the layover. And then that is, there is the image itself laid over. There's the serpent. Uh, we're going to show you now an augmented version of the serpent on this next little clip. Okay, so now I've put in front of this the augmented image where I've colored in the leaves green. I, uh, I was praying and the Lord told me, put a rhinestone where the eyes are, a dark colored rhinestone. So I put this dark blue rhinestone right there and one right there. And you can see the trenches and the, the serpents, you know, like the eyes are all set back right in here now. The eye is set back right in here now coming down to the nose coming down to the nose and again Obama's face takes up the point of the serpent and the Chris was right the sperm makes a fang that is just amazing see the fang right there coming down that is certainly the fang of the serpent isn't that perfect the fang of the serpent is the sperm 
Okay, so now we've moved over to the same image, but I went and I scanned this image and I left the rhinestones on. This is exactly what the Lord told me to do. He told me to scan the image that had the rhinestones on it. There's the rhinestone. So I scanned that image and when the image scanned, look what the, re look what the result was. Oh my gosh perfect serpent eyes even with a line through it unbelievable and so now you can see here's the top of the head of the serpent coming to the cheek the edge of the cheek right here coming down under the negative space to the bottom jaw and going up again eye coming down to the edge of the cheek coming around the black boxes in the serpent's face coming down the shoulder of obama and here's the mouth of the serpent and there is the fang of the serpent absolutely stunning okay so here we have the serpent i've gone ahead and i put two dark rhinestones for the eyes and let's just have a little fun now and let's just uh take this where it needs to go and there you go now chris go ahead and back up a little bit and there is your serpent from the garden of eden folks by the way uh i'm gonna tie this together with the very beginning of the ministry the night i got saved in the alley when I walked out of that alley I walked into a giant stained glass window of Christ ascending into heaven and below Christ was Adam in the Garden of Eden and um, I'll show you that in the following video okay so here we go so let's just have a little fun huh there you go and there is your serpent from the Garden of Eden and I'm leaving this one as it is right now just so you can see you know, all I did was box in the shadows. Those are the eyes. Here's the top of the head coming down to the edge of the cheeks of the serpent right here, coming down to the bottom jaw right here. And again, Chris nailed it. That sperm right there is a fang. The fang of the serpent is a sperm. Uh, and Hava, desire, who had desired the angel, and she conceived and bare Cain. She said, I have acquired a man, the angel of the Lord. And she added to bear from her husband, Adam, his twin, even Abel. I'm going to pause it right there because in the previous video that I just showed you, you know, the one about Obama. Let's see. Let's see if this will exit. Yep. In this video right here that I showed you, Obama, I, uh, let's see, this one right here. This is an hour and four minute video. During this video, I made a very serious point of pulling up the entire the Bible and going through Genesis 3, the fall, and going through Genesis 4 and showing you how Genesis 3 and Genesis 4 completely and utterly support by definition with the definitions of the words. It said that uh, in Eve, you know, bear uh, Abel, and it means to augment her birth. She augmented her birth. To augment means to continue a process. She continued the process of birthing and she birthed Abel. First she birthed Cain and continued the birthing process and she birthed Abel. They were twins. Heteropaternal superfecundation. That's why Kahinde Wiley was chosen by Obama because he's from the tribe that has all these dizygotic twins that are just, I mean, it's, it's insane. Just go back and watch the other video. Okay, just wanted to make a point there for those people that say you're not using the Bible, you're wrong. I used the Bible. I broke down every word in the Bible, in Genesis 3, in Genesis 4. And the Targum and the Bible are completely supportive of one another. No argument. Can't be argued. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so this is what the Lord had me do uh, almost a month ago. This thing that's behind this sign, that's, this says V. This is the V from my, my sunglass company for vampire sunglasses. It's a V with fangs for Vlad eyewear. The Lord told me have a sign made with V and then F-O-U-R because it's a promise that the Lord gave me. Four, ride for one V four, and then an upside down V vengeance V for vengeance and this he told me to put it here and I really honestly had no idea and I didn't realize it was going over an image that I did of the Garden of Eden of me 
and my girlfriend at the time, Eleuthera. I'm going to pause it right there for just a minute. This is just staggering. I'm going to insert another video right now. I'm going to insert another video that I shot uh, several weeks ago with Kat. And when George came over to put up, help me put up the sign, here is a video that I haven't shown y'all yet. And I'm going to insert this right now. You know, this is going to be a little bit, uh, this, is a, uh, this is an insert into the video that Chris and I were working on. So, you know, this is kind of like a puzzle being put together. You've already seen Obama is the serpent in the garden. He is the spirit of Elohim. He is many in one. And he is the leader of that group. He is the angel of the bottomless pit. Okay, so here we go. Let me, uh, let me play this vid for you real quick. Okay, so I'm just documenting what's going on. Say hi, George, you came out of the pit. <laughs> There's Miss Cat, she's in town. Anyway, so George is going to help me hang up the sign that the Lord told me to get, what, three weeks ago, maybe more. Uh, the sign's ready. I'm showing you all this picture. This is a, a piece of artwork I did on plexiglass with using a grinder, and that's the back of what's supposed to be my head. This is the back of the head. And this comes down to the neck and to the shoulder. And this is down the neck and to the shoulder. And so this, this is the top of the head. Again, going down to the neck and the shoulder, down the back of the neck to the shoulder. So you're looking at the back of what's supposed to be my head in the Garden of Eden. And I'm looking at a female. This is the top of her head. And she's looking at me. And wrapped around the whole thing is the serpent. Here's the tail of the serpent. And here's the body of the ser the body of the serpent going up. There's the body of the serpent. There was a hole in the plastic right there I used to make the head of the serpent. And so there's the head of the serpent. There's the eye right there. And so if I just kind of block that up, you can see the serpent very easily. And so it's the serpent wrapped around me and what was my girlfriend at the time, Eleuthera. And that represents the Garden of Eden, and these represent these. I did all this with a grinder, and these are, you know, these are plants. And I sprayed spray paint on plexiglass, and then I grinded it in. And so what's really crazy is this is where the Lord told me it's time to put up the sign I told you to order. And George and I are going to put that up right now. I guess the other part that's really important is there's a picture that was on top of this that um I guess I'll show you in just a second I'll, what I'll do is I'll I'll take a clear photo of the picture that I had and it was positioned right here it's been here for the longest time it's from my skydiving days I'm from the skydiving uh, stuff for Vlad I wear vampire sunglasses and the thing was um I just uh wrote this thing to the Lord after I got saved, just praising God for saving me. And I put it right on top of that. So here, so, so here's the point. This is where the Lord wants me to put up the sign he had me make, V for vengeance. And now let me show you what the Lord had me discover. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause it for just a second. Now see what, that sign behind me right there? It says V for vengeance. Okay, so here's the thing. This is just insane. When I was putting up that sign right there over the Garden of Eden is when the Lord God revealed the image of Barack Obama as the serpent in the garden. I mean, I was like, what in the world? Now, when I show you that the name Eleutheria is in the Bible... And, the, and where you see where that, what it means, the name of the girl that was trying to stop me from going out the door to meet Christ. I was trying, going out, I was, I was struggling with the decision. Do I open the door in the, that says alarm will sound in the back of the hotel and face imminent death? If I went out the door, I would know the truth. The Lord said, open the door and you'll know the truth. And I'm like, Okay, I got to open the door, even if it means my death, because I wanted to know 
the truth. And the Lord kept telling me, open the door. And Eleuthera is going, don't open the door. Don't open the door, trying to stop me. And I'm saying, Lord, tell me what to do. Open the door. And she's going, don't open the door. Don't open the door. And the Lord said, Jonathan, open the door. And I just pushed the door open. And I went out the back of the door of that hotel. I walked down those steps and Michael was waiting there. Pray with me, my brother, our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Water and light came down on me. I was filled with the Holy Spirit. I was called as a harbinger, the angel of the church of Philadelphia. Okay? Now it's been proven out. Now, amazing that right after that, I walked out of the alley and I walked into Adam in the garden. And there happens to be me and Eleuthera in the garden right there that I did before I got saved. The word Eleuthera means licentious or legitimate freedom. And I'll show you where it is in the Bible because we as angels had chosen licentious freedom over legitimate freedom, which was freedom in God, freedom in Christ. And we, we chose the mother goddess system over our father. That's what happened. That's why we fell. That's why Psalm 82 says, You are gods, you are all children of the Most High, but you shall die like men, you shall fall like one of the princes. That's why Jesus told the Jews in John 10, He said, For which good works do you stone me? And the Jews said, We stone thee not for good works, but for blasphemy, because you being a man make yourself equal to God. And Jesus said, Do not your own scriptures say, you are gods. And if the word of God came unto them that are called gods, why do you marvel that I say I am the son of God? So Jesus convicted everybody right then and there. He said, you're all gods. Your scriptures can't be broken. He was quoting Psalm 82. You are gods. The word is Elohim. Same as the, same as the word in Genesis 1. And Elohim said, let us create man in our image. Vain show representative figure, especially an idol. The host body system was a trap. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. On the Barack Obama presidential photo that he was the one in the garden, Elohim, he was that. He was the angel of the bottomless pit. He's Lucifer. He's He's the incarnation of the spirit of Lucifer that was cast down. And so I'm going to show you all that. And I, the Lord just let me draw it all in the other day. And so here Rem it comes. Remember, this, this is th th two weeks ago. Okay, so here's George. Cat. <laughs> Georgie. <laughs> Who just called. George, tell everybody you just crawled out of a pit. Just crawled out of a pit, guys. With a guy named. George Cortez, my and nephew. What, and what's your name? George Cortez. So George Cortez and George Cortez, the, a pit opened up. And tried to eat us alive. So that, yeah. yeah I showed everybody the news clip. So there, people wanted to sit, say, hey, kid, George, you give a testimony. There he is. <laughs> He's giving his testimony. So here's what's up, guys. That picture right there, that was over there on top of the Garden of Eden thing. I took it off because we're getting ready to put the sign up that the Lord told me to put up. Let me show you what this is, though, real quick. That's a picture that was taken during the vampire sunglasses stuff where I was doing the ads for flat eyewear vampire sunglasses. And it shows me falling out of the sky upside down. That's because I was predestined to have the key of David. You know, the key of knowledge. The one that's been hidden by the Pharisees. So after I got saved, I wrote this note on the, uh, I mean, I, I wanted to keep one of these images without any of the flat eyewear stuff on it. So it's just a big positive. But so I wrote this down after I got saved and I was praising God for, for letting me find my way out of the darkness. And so I just wrote that on a whim and it reads, eyes that light a thousand suns, a thousand years of darkness lit. From the darkness to the light, through the night I found my way. Now colors call my name. There is only you in the rainbow that surrounds you. Jesus is light. Praise God for light in such darkness. And then I wrote a note to my girlfriend at the bottom. May God's light always shine upon you and always light your way to Eleuthera. So that picture right there, I'm going to put right back where it goes on the Garden of Eden. So this represents the fall where we all fell upside down. And it's going to go right back on the Garden of Eden. 
This is like in a house that has the Lord's name on it. Just think about it. Okay, so I'm going to take this and put it back where it goes. You know, this is the image of me. This is the image of my girlfriend, Eleutheria, Eleuthera. The serpent going around the garden. And this is right here, representing the fall. And now the Lord told me it's time to put up the sign I told you to get made. And so now I put that back where it belongs. And then now George and I are going to put the sign up right there. And then after we get that sign up, I'm going to show you the sign that the Lord told me to make. And then I'm going to show you proof that many videos ago I told you that I was going to show you a sign that the Lord told me to make because time's here. Okay, so there's a sign I was told to get. V for vengeance. And the Bible says, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, and the time of the Lord's vengeance has come. I mean, I don't know what to say sometimes. It's kind of weird. Cats in there, George is here. But both these people have seen, how much supernatural have you seen, Kat? Oh my word. Was your husband's eye healed? Yes. George, were you supernaturally healed? Absolutely. Yes, so yeah. you're, you're, in a, you're in a place where it's supernatural. Yeah, all the time. All the time, normal. And right now, this right here, y'all, y'all, y'all don't know what's coming after this, because I, no. Nah, anyway, so y'all don't know what's coming after this because the Lord just let me catch the serpent from the garden. I'm gonna pause it right there because see, when I was making this video right there, I had just drawn in the serpent from the garden was Obama in the presidential photo. I was like, oh my God. Now here's the truth. I saw an outline of it when I did the other video a while back, but I couldn't say it definitively. I could definitely say definitively that he had the antenna and he was the angel of the bottomless pit and the king, they had a king over them, the locust did. And that's when I drug that image of the wasp head and put it on top of Obama. And it looked like, you know, he had antenna and th those antenna ended up making the outline of the face of the serpent. I, I, I saw it, but I could not, I could not, uh, testify to it. No one could testify to it until it was all drawn in. It had to be all drawn in to be able to give a 100% accurate testimony that it was truly the serpent from the garden. So the Lord had me draw it in like four times and it's a done deal. All right. Here's the rest of this. And this is the Garden of Eden and me falling from the sky, from heaven. And it's a representation of what happened to all of us. We all fell. So V4, I know that's not the way you spell F-O-R. The reason it's F-O-U-R is because the night I got saved, the Lord made certain promises to me that if I was to continue and to carry out this mission, that he would take care of four people for me. I have four kids, just like Noah. No, I had his deal with the Lord. I have mine. Yeah. So anyway, so I was guaranteed four ride for one the night I got saved. That's that was a guarantee. For what you do for me, I'll get four people to safety for you, and it's going to be rough. <laughs> That's an yeah, I'm sorry. It's going to be rough. <laughs> That's an understatement. That's going to be a freaking straight on fifteen year ass whooping. Yeah, yeah. It's been rough. V four. And vengeance is upside down and that's the garden and the Lord just okay so anyway so the time of the Lord's vengeance has come and he just let me catch the serpent in the garden and that's gonna follow up what y'all are seeing right here right after I finish this little segment you're gonna see what you probably won't even believe but <laughs> Done. All right, there it is.
Okay, so let's exit that. Now let's go back to the video Chris and I were working on, and let's pick it back up right here, okay? Remember, we just went back two weeks in time to watch that little video clip. Let's continue. Okay, so I want to show you all something real quick, and this will be in a this will be added as a little video clip at the end. There's an image of me in the garden, and that's my shoulders, and that's the back of my back of my head right there. And I'm looking at this female. It was my girlfriend Eleuthera, and here is the serpent down here going around the entirety of the whole thing, going right here. And there you can see that the eye of the serpent right there the eye of the serpent I used a hole that was actually in the material itself and I made it the eye of the serpent in the garden and the serpent is surrounding me and my girlfriend in the garden and you can see these are leaves and foliage and the Lord told me V for vengeance so I want you to imagine that you know you were Jonathan Cleck and there's a a piece of art you did of you and your girlfriend before you ever got saved and it's the Garden of Eden and it just happens to be where I sit where I'm doing my videos from that's where I do my videos from now because my office situation turned out so weird and so there is the Garden of Eden the Lord had me put up a sign that says V for vengeance and then over here on this thing I'm working on Barack Obama, the serpent in the garden. I mean, just imagine. And the night I got saved, I literally walked out of the alley right after receiving Christ. Okay, so now here we are looking at Obama in the Garden of Eden as the serpent. You're looking at a picture of me over on the wall, a painting I did before I got saved of me and my girlfriend Eleuthera in the Garden of Eden with the serpent wrapped around it. Last night, the Lord told me, go down to the alley where you got saved, and I want you to drive through the alley and videotape the alley where I got saved and show everybody what was at the end of the alley when you walked out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got a video up on my screen right now, and we're gonna watch this real quick. Here we go, guys, let's watch this together. This is from last night. Okay, it's March 2nd. I'm coming down to the alley where I got saved. The Lord told me to come down here. And, you know, just do a quick drive-by and let everybody know. This is where I got saved. And this is the alley where I was born again. And this, those steps right there, those are counterweighted steps. Right there, there's a counterweight on them. And they're horizontal to the ground. And I started walking on those. I came out a door up there. Okay, so just again, imagine the night I got saved, when I walked out of this alley, I walked into the image of the Garden of Eden and Christ ascending into heaven. This is from last night. So then after I got saved, after I prayed and I received Christ right here, Michael told me, you know, I should go get some water at the bus station. And as I walked out, I exited this way. I know there's a loud noise going on. I'm going to pause as I exit. I'm going to pause it right there. So as I walked out of that alley, I walked into this giant stained glass window, which shows Adam in the Garden of Eden, and it shows Christ ascending into heaven. And I'm going to show you some still images of that because this is a little bit rough on the video. Just to prove it, though, I went down there. I mean, let me turn the volume down. Okay, ready? Go ahead. So there it is, me walking out of the alley last night and showing you, look, there's Adam in the Garden of Eden. Wow, that's crazy. There's me in the Garden of Eden with my girlfriend, Eleuthera. By the way, the Bible says... Romans 8, the earnest expectation of the creature gloriously awaits the liberty of the sons of God. The word liberty is Eleuthera, Eleutheria, the name of my wife. And it means licentious or legitimate freedom. The Bible says you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. The word for free is Eleuthero. My girlfriend was 
Eleuthera. One in a gazillion. Okay. Here I'm going to continue playing this video from last night down in the alley. So there is an image of Christ ascending into heaven. I'll pause it. Um, I'll, I'll show you all some still photos right after this. But there's proof. That's what I walked into the night I got saved. But right underneath that, there's a carving on the wall. And it says, Whatsoever man soweth, that must he also reap. Right there. Right under this guy, it says, Whatsoever man soweth, that must he also reap. And that was the Lord letting me know, Get ready, you're going to reap 15 years of being in the fire. Okay, I want to I wanna show you guys something. Wow, that's weird. Sorry. Okay, Johnny. Um, oh. I want to show you guys something very quickly. We're going to open up eSword so you guys can understand. I Okay, I want you guys to try and wrap your brain around this. Okay. I'm standing inside of a hotel being led by the Spirit of God to leave the back of the hotel because the people that had threatened my life and tried the people that had run me off the road and tried to seriously had me crash my car on the highway at like two in the morning. Uh, the, the whole testimony is on YouTube. You can go watch it. Anyway, those very people were outside that hotel parked in two cars and they looked like professional, like professional hitmen, you know, with coat and tie, you know, and it was very strange anyway so we had to get out of that hotel and I the spirit led me to a window on the third story uh, stairwell and I looked out and there they were and and the spirit told me you need to leave and go out the stairwell and so I went out to the I went to, all the way to the other stairwell to try and get out and it was blocked because there was construction and it said there was a door that opened to the back of the hotel and it said alarm will sound if door opens and so it was like, uh, you open the door, the alarm's going to sound. When the alarm sounds, you're going to end up getting killed because the guys that already were meant to do you that kind of harm and kill you, they're going to come down that alley and shoot you. So where I came out of this hotel right here, so I came out actually above this door. There's a door up here. Walk down here. This was horizontal. This hit the ground. But I had a decision to make in front of that door and that decision was to open the door and know the truth and I had a girl named Eleuthera holding me going don't open the door don't open the door so I had a girl named Eleuthera saying don't open the door and she represented like the perfect girl I had ever found on the planet I mean I dated lots of beautiful women and I came up with the the girl that I was like, oh my gosh, it's too good to be true. This is just, I mean, she's too perfect. Something's not right. And I was like, this is, and she was telling me, do not open the door. You know, we're going to get killed. And the spirit's telling me, open the door, Jonathan, open the door. Because if I open the door, I'll go out the door and I'll know the truth. Okay, let me show you what the Bible says. Let me go to Romans 8. Watch this. Because we got turned into the creature, guys. We got turned into the monster. Watch this. So Romans, it says, future glory. Okay. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious, look at it, liberty of the children of God. Liberty is Eleuthera, and it means legitimate or licentious freedom. It means freedom, and it means legitimate or licentious. Do you all know what licentious means? Licentious is a sexual promiscuity nature. And I had, you know, when you're a guy and you have a super hot girlfriend, and it's just like, you know, it's like, wow, this is, the best deal in the world you know just let's just be honest guys that have girlfriends that are just you know always excited about jumping in the rack it's like that's just didn't seem quite right so anyway 
We got along perfectly. We were like Mickey and Mallory Knox right up until the time I got saved. And then after I got saved, our relationship was never the same again. Even though we got married and we had a kid, she ended up turning very much against me. Um, so her name was Eleuthera. There's her name right here, Eleuthera. Eleutheria. Okay, it means freedom, legitimate or licentious. She represented licentious freedom to me. Let me say, let me. Okay, so. Well, my, my mouse just. Just one minute. There we go. Okay, so here's Eleutheria right here who represented licentious freedom to me in my life. I mean, she was like ultimate girlfriend. And she was trying to stop me from going through the door to get saved. I came out a fire exit. Okay, the earth is reserved for fire. Okay, so imagine you're standing inside a door. You know that if you open that door, you're going to get killed probably to go out the door but the Spirit is telling you to open the door. You'll know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Okay, so I have Eleutheria saying, don't open the door. She represented licentious freedom. And then when I finally open the door, John 8.32 says, you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Jesus said, and you shall know the truth. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Look at this. Eleuthero. One's masculine, one's feminine. Who did I pray to the night I got saved? Our Father. Father. Male figure, male energy. Our Father. And I got saved. I knew the truth. And the truth set me free, and I was willing to die to know it. I had licentious freedom saying, don't open the door, because she wanted to keep me in bondage. The enemy was using her to keep me in bondage. Licentious freedom, Eleuthera. That's why after I prayed and received the Holy Spirit after praying, our Father, who art in heaven, male, Eleuthero, then the then Michael told me, now you say a Hail Mary. A lot of people said, oh, you said a Hail Mary. Oh, that's not you. Yeah, it is. That's And I said, as I said those words, I felt death. And I knew it was wrong for some reason all of a sudden. I was like, Hail Mary. And he nodded, do it. And I started saying those words. And I felt light and life leaving my body. Get it? One's virgin worship, like Eleuthera, licentious freedom. And the other one is legitimate, Eleuthero. You'll know the truth, and the truth will make you Eleuthero. There it is. Look what it means. Look at, okay, watch this. Look what this means. It means to liberate. That is to exempt from moral ceremony, or look at this word, mortal liability. There is the greatest mystery ever solved. All glory to the Lord God. To liberate, to exempt from moral ceremonial, ceremonial or mortal liability. To deliver, make free. Eleuthero. My girlfriend was Eleuthera. Get it? Licentious freedom on this planet. Okay, let's finish the vid. There's Adam in the garden, what I walked into the night I got saved. There is a piece of art I did of me and my girlfriend in the Garden of Eden with the serpent wrapped around the entire garden. The Lord told me to put up a sign, V for vengeance, because the time of the Lord's vengeance has come. And I'm talking all the way back to the garden. And then the Lord let me show in the entire world who this man is 
Barack Hussein Obama, the Antichrist, the beast that was and is not and is yet to come shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. And so now I'll go over here and I will remove this little thing. There's your Antichrist. There's the sperm on his head. There's another sperm. There's two sperm. The Garden of Eden was the serpent beguiled Eve, seduced Eve into having sex. She conceived and bare Cain, the angel of the Lord, birthed into the system. And he murdered his brother Abel, which was a child of Adam. And the whole system has become cannibalistic from the very beginning. And the time of the Lord God's judgment is here. And that's why Kahinda Wiley was, was chosen by Barack Obama to be the artist for his artwork because Kahinda Wiley comes from a tribe in Africa that has the largest number and population of dizygotic twins in the world. Dizygotic means two zygotes. A zygote is a fertilized egg. And uh, dizygotic means two separate eggs fertilized by separate sperm. That's why there's two sperm on Barack Obama's forehead. That's why Barack Obama is a serpent. He is Elohim. Elohim is many in one. It is a cumulative sum force of angels and the leader of those angels. And it is Barack Hussein Obama. That's why it says he did create them male and female. He created them. And the Bible says, and he blessed them. The word for blessed is Barack. And when I'm going to pause the... that right there to prove it out. So you guys can see it for yourself. I believe in proving these things out. I don't leave it to chance. I do it all the way. Genesis 1, 26. And Elohim, Elohim, it means God's of the supreme god it is not the supreme god gods of the supreme god angels magistrates said let us the word is plural make man adam in our image the word for image is a phantom that is figuratively an illusion and here is resemblance look at the semicolon hence a representative figure especially an idol because we began to worship the creature instead of the creator. Well, just like I used to worship Lou before I got saved. You know, I mean, you know, that's just the way it was. Guys worship their their mates. They give more uh, adoration to the female they're with than they ever do to God. And that was Satan's trap, Lucifer's trap. And so here it is. So Elohim said, let us create man in our vain show. A representative figure. And read it for yourself, especially an idol. No arguing it. There is the definition of the word itself. Let us, so Elohim, gods, angels, magistrates, said, let us make Adam a hypocrite. The word human being, hypocrite, in our vain show. Right there, vain show. Represented figure, especially an idol. So God created Man in his own image, in the image of God, he created him male and female. F-E is iron mixed with miry clay. Female and God blessed them. Look at the word blessed. Pay attention now. He blessed them. Barak. It means to kneel by implication to bless God as an act of adoration and vice versa. Man is a benefit. And the reason man was a benefit is because they used the human host body man as a way to get all their energy for that for their race of beings. By euphemism, it means to curse God the king as treason. Read it for yourself. To curse God or the king as treason. There you go. So... Isn't it funny that the word blessed in Genesis 1, when they made a hypocrite and they made a vain show, they blessed them and the word is Barak. Well, let me tell you something. Let me look you in the eye. What was their blessing in the beginning has become their curse in the end. You reap what you sow, Barak. Okay? Time to reap it. Okay. Now let's continue.
meaning of it. It means to bless man as a benefit because they use the man as a host body system to benefit his kingdom so they could get the energy of God's angels. And it also means to curse God the king because that man right there, he is the incarnation of Lucifer in the flesh. And he's about to take on his full power. There you go. And I'm going to put two rhinestones, one right there, and I'm going to put one right there to show you how obvious this is. Okay, so I went ahead and put a rhinestone uh, where the circle is, and I'm going to take this one off so you can see very obviously there's the eye right there. I'm going to do what the Lord God said. He told me put a dark colored rhinestone right on top of the circle. There's one eye of the serpent. There's the other eye of the serpent. There is the incarnation of the angel of the bottomless pit, Barack Hussein Obama. And then we'll just do that just for kicks and grins. And there's your boy. Oh. Hey, Satan, I got, I got a little note for you. You're down. You're done. Okay. I want to show you guys in the Bible. Now, don't forget that was me and Eleuthera in the Garden of Eden. This is Eleuthera, my girlfriend. Look what it says right here, rise with the sun, S-O-N, because, you know, the sunrise is, looks like that, so instead of S-U-N, it's S-O-N. Look how it's all right side up and backwards and upside down at the same time. This is Eleuthera, who I put with me in the Garden of Eden. Okay, you just pause it. Okay, this is me falling out of the sky, upside down, Different, every photo, I don't have shoes here, I have shoes here. Yellow clear lenses, uh, red reflective mirror lenses there. Every point of purchase ad, I was upside down. So here Jonathan is, which means gift from God, falling out of the sky upside down. Um, and my girlfriend's name is Eleuthera. Okay, now let me show you in the Bible what it says about that. Okay, the Bible says in Romans 8, and okay so the bible says in romans 8 for as many are as led by the spirit of god they are the sons of god for we have received not the spirit of bondage again to fear but we have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry abba father now let me show you this we became the creature because the creature itself was all shall also be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of god let me show you that word right there Liberty, right here, look what it says. Eleuthera, legitimate or licentious freedom. Moral or ceremonial liberty. It means legitimate or licentious, right there. Okay. So right there is the name of my girlfriend. She ended up being my wife, Eleutheria legitimate or licentious freedom. Okay, now I'm gonna go to John 8, 32, and the Bible says, and you shall know the truth, and the only way I knew the truth was to turn everything upside down and backwards. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Right here, look what it says. Eleuthero, to liberate, that is figuratively, to exempt, from moral, ceremonial, or mortal, mortal liability, because we were turned into mortals. We were all gods. Uh, Psalm 82 says, you are gods, but you shall die like men, to deliver, to make free. There it is. So the mystery of all mysteries is solved, and that's why I had a company called Vampire Sunglasses. That's why the Lord told me to put up V for vengeance over there on the wall. That's why it's on top of me in the Garden of Eden with Eleutheria, licentious freedom, because obviously I chose licentious freedom with Elohim, and Dad came and saved me from my own mistakes, and hopefully you're one of us and you got saved too. And that's why the Sunglass Company tagline was, come out of the darkness into the light. And that's why the first thing the Lord God showed me was, Read the tags and the clothes you're carrying. I read my tag, it said 100% nylon. The Lord said, turn it upside down. 
100% no lime in the street salt. <laughs> yeah. but, Paul's, uh, way, I this is it. a random image that popped up. Look how one's female. Look how one is a female and look how one's a male. Female energy and male energy. One's right side up, one's upside down. Absolutely impossible. Notice while I was showing you guys, you know, the tagline for the company, this is a random image. It says random image. Look what popped up. <laughs> Right side up, upside down. There it is. The time of God's judgment has come. I am a harbinger. I have completed my mission. The serpent in the garden, Barak, was the leader of the rebellion. It was Lucifer in the flesh. All right. By the way, I want to give credit where credit's to you. I, I never would have seen that the sperm right there was actually a fang. Chris saw it today when he showed up. He's like, is that a fang? I was like, oh my God, the serpent's fang is the sperm right there. Look at that fang. If you cut it off right there, that is absolutely the fang. So the serpent's fang is the sperm. What a bust. What a bust. Prog Okay, so what I think would be really smart of everybody is to screenshot these images of Barack as the serpent, you know, like screenshot this stuff and put it on Google Images everywhere. Send it out on every Facebook page you can. Uh, Barack, the serpent in the garden. He's about to take his, uh, he's about to receive his full power. And when he receives his full power, oh my Lord. You're, you're talking the angel of the bottomless pit, like a Hitler-type figure running the world. It's going to get ugly, guys. So anyway, so uh, obviously, you know, it, you should see all the evidence. V for vengeance right over the Garden of Eden. Uh, here's Barack, the serpent in the Garden of Eden. Uh, the night I got saved, I walked out of the alley right into Adam in the Garden of Eden. And I was there with a girl named Eleuthera trying to stop me from going out. So I had licentious freedom saying, don't open the door. And I had the Lord God saying, open the door. And I opened the door and I went out. And I knew the truth. And the truth set me Eleuthero. Uh, it freed me from moral and mortal liability. So there you go. So I was born again into eternal life right there in that alley in the presence of an angel, Michael. Now y'all know my testimony is totally true. Everything I've told you is true. Now I got a little message for people like people that call themselves Brother Daryl and all these other people. You get to uh, cogitate on this scripture. Um, the Bible says, no evil weapon forged against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned. So it's sometimes it's better not to say anything than to say the wrong thing. So for those people that are doing your videos, uh, using uh, the word false prophet, I'm really sorry for you because there's no going back on that once you do it. Uh, the Bible says every sin will be forgiven except blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that just revealed this. It is the Holy Spirit that revealed the largest church in the world is in the shape of a serpent wearing a crown. It was the Holy Spirit that re revealed the largest altar in the world is a giant bug. The mouth of the bug has a penis going into the mouth of a bug. The largest altar in the world is a dead sheep that shows all God's angels going into a vortex. When you turn that dead sheep upside down, it is the female reproductive system. All this was revealed through the Holy Spirit. So this is the Holy Spirit revealing it, not me. So those people that have made your fallacious and 
demonic claims. It's time to reap what you sowed. Okay. And by the way, God takes no glory in the destruction of the wicked. He takes no pleasure in it. And I don't either. I'm Sometimes I'm appalled by it. And it's like, what the hell's the matter with you? But by your words, you will be justified. Or by your words, you will be condemned. Okay? So anyway, uh, if I was you guys, I would go get these folders. This folder is one of the best folders there is. Daniel 12, Time of the Female Rival. Uh, this is a perfect representation of our enemy, uh, the host body system female. That's why the image of the virgin right here, it's like really a bug in a shawl because it's the same darn thing. And that's why this whole altar right here is really, there's the eye, there's the eye, there's the open mouth. It's really a big bug because the angel of the bottomless pit is the king over a race of locusts that are coming out of the pit that have been using the energy of all God's angels in order to arise above the throne of the Most High. And they're not going to do it. They're going to get burned. The earth is reserved for fire. That's why this ministry, the Lord told me to name it Before the Fire. That's why I got saved on a fire escape. Jonathan Cleck. Yahweh has given a messenger that rings the bell and gathers the church. Church of Philadelphia, it's time to go home. Okay, God bless you guys.